A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We know that if our earthly dwelling, a tent, should be destroyed, we have a building from God, a dwelling not made with hands, eternal in heaven. So we are always courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather please him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The, the word of the Lord. Calvary. 
And of course, he fell a few times and got back up. But in that cross today that he carried, he prepared himself well for the kingdom of heaven. And that becomes our consolation today. Andrew fought the good battle, and now he's at peace with our Lord Jesus Christ, because his faith was truly his foundation of his life. Andrew and Carol would come to 7.30, and Andrew would take up the collection here every Sunday when he was feeling well. And that becomes a foundation for us, it becomes the example for us. As we gather together today, it's difficult, but we're at peace because we know Andrew's preparation was so good. And yes, Jesus was an important factor to him. His love for pro-life, loving life from conception until natural death, he became an advocate for pro-life. And he becomes an example for us. When those opportunities come along in our lives to be pro-life, we be like we will be like Andrew today and support life until natural death. Today, yes, becomes difficult. But we know that because Andrew received those sacraments, because he was Christ-like to others, he shared the exact same baptism that Christ himself shared in. He carried his cross like Christ carried his cross. And he shared the exact same death. But more importantly today, we celebrate that Easter mystery. We celebrate that empty tomb. We celebrate the resurrection of Christ. And we celebrate the resurrection of his soul in the kingdom of heaven. And like I said earlier, all that pain, all that suffering is taken away. It is at peace with our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. As we heard today's reading from the gospel, a special place has been prepared for each and every one of us. Because of his faithfulness, a special place has been prepared for Andrew today. And the saints have welcomed him into the kingdom of heaven. As family and friends, we gather together today, and yes, it's difficult. We need to physically say goodbye to someone we have loved so very much. But as family and friends, we gather together today, and we first of all thank God for the faith that we have. We hear it as the foundation of our lives. It gets us through these most difficult times because we simply cannot do it on our own. We also thank God for Andrew, the presence of Andrew in our lives. We're here today because he touched us in a special way. As we leave here today, we take a little bit of Andrew with us. His love of Jesus Christ, his love of music, and his love for eternal life that he has gained today. And his love for pro-life, it helps us to be pro-life in this world that seems so difficult at times. Let us take this opportunity to pray to and for him as his earthly journey is now complete and he enjoys the eternal rewards that Christ himself has promised to us. <laughs> 